What is up, guys? It is Merce Fines here, bringing you another lesson today. Today's lesson is lesson number 12 uh, in this Java series. And today's lesson, we're going to be going over arrays. Uh, so let's get started. So I'm just going to be going over uh, the basics of arrays. I'm not going to bring you too far into it because there are uh, two-dimensional, three-dimensional arrays. Uh, you, you know, there's other things. You can sort them. You can two-string them. You know, a whole bunch of things to arrays. But today I'm just going to go over the basics. Um, yeah. So let's get started. We're going to go into the YouTube tutorials, create a new class in Eclipse. Uh, if you guys still use BlueJ, more power to you. That's going to help you in the long run with coding because you can type it out and memorize it. Uh, and I will actually be using it in future tutorials because it helps with visual display. So, yeah. But that just kind of got off topic a little bit. Let's create a new class. This class is going to be called uh, Mr. Array. Ari, Mr. Array. Bam. All right, so inside of here, we're going to talk about the array. So what is an array? An array is basically a list of data types. It's a way to organize your data into a simpler form than just having primitive, excuse me, data types like int A, int B, int C, int D, to just do five, uh, four or five ints. Arrays are much easier than that. So let me explain to you. We're going to create uh, three, yeah, three strings. String A equals this. I'll copy and paste this. And inside of each, we'll have A, B, and C. Okay. So instead of having three strings to represent A, B, and C. Actually, we'll go even further. Might as well. A, B, C, D, and E, just to give you more of an example. Okay. So we have string A, B, C, D, and E. So instead of having these five strings, we can use an array to have the same strings and call upon them and do the same things to them as we would normally. So to do this, we basically set it up the same way. I need to stop using basically. String, space, you don't have to use the space, but I like to use it because it uh, helps organize. The two square brackets, another space, and then what you're gonna call it. So we're gonna call this letters. And there's two ways to create an array. The first way that I'm gonna show you is to do it by instantiating uh, the array to certain specific strings that you want it. This this specific array. So we're going to have uh, the opening bracket. We're going to have the quotations A. Outside the quotations, you're going to do a comma, B, C, D, and E. We're going to do the closing bracket and then a semicolon. This one line, this one string array, holds the data of these five strings. And it's a lot easier to call upon something uh, using this technique. Arrays will be very important in the future. Arrays, lists, um, other ways of just organizing data become very important. So you do want to remember this. Uh, so this way is to instantiate it that's with me knowing what these strings are going to be. But if I don't know what the strings are going to be ahead of time, there's another way you do it. And it's the same way. We're going to make this letters two, except on the other side of the equal sign, it's going to be new and then your data type, which is a string in this case. And then you're going to have the opening square bracket and then the uh, amount of cells you want inside of your array. So this array has five cells, so we're going to do another one with five. Okay. Now, what if I want to call upon these, this array in a simple fashion? Well, I can do that. I'm going to make a for loop. Int i equals zero. i is less than. Uh, in the past 
lesson not on order was past few lessons I've used um, string dot length you can do arrays dot length or your array name in the same fashion to get the amount of cells now the reason I say this is because if I were to type in five it would not work well actually it would work but if I it was less than or equals to that would not work and the reason is is because arrays just like the just like other things in Java start on zero and so it's kind of a hassle to remember that some people don't always remember it so just to be safe we're going to use letters dot length uh, and then I plus plus so again you guys got to remember that arrays start on zero so instead of having one two three four five for a b c d e it's zero one two three four gotta remember it. it's very uh, crucial when you're calling upon a right so we can just type in letters uh, we need to do a system out print line system out print line inside here we're gonna have letters square bracket and then inside of that I and what's that and what that is going to do is it's going to run through from 0 to 4 the uh, the different cells in this array so it's gonna go A B C D E down in a row bam that's a lot easier than having a system out print line string A system out print line string B system out print line string C uh, this way is much better and it's much easier to organize data uh, so if I did want to go out and set this uh, first string letters to or sorry excuse me letters to to letters I can do that so letters to equals I think this should work yep and uh, that just sets the array to the other array if I wanted to set an individual um, cell like let's say I wanted to change uh, C to Z I can do that hit square brackets letters what is this the second cell remember it's the second one because 0 1 2 equals uh, Z and then we will print that out and there you have it guys oh. the reason it doesn't change up here is because it doesn't change until after the for loop so but it does print out that Z so that's all I wanted to show you just a basic lesson of arrays how to use them what they are you can do it with ints you can do it with doubles if I wanted to make one uh, I'll just make one quickly int a now there's already one like that int uh, num equals three four two and one I can also print that out and just put another one in just for the heck of it so we can call num print that out you can see three four two one six and then Z uh, so you can do it with other data types again it's an easier way to organize your data I hope you guys enjoyed I hope you guys took something from this lesson if you didn't leave a comment let me know subscribe like favorite do what you got to do send me a message um, I mean a comment would probably be the best way but if I don't respond to your comment within you know a reasonable amount of time send me a message and I'll try to get back to you as soon as possible with an answer to your question uh, I'll see you guys next time in this lesson well not in this lesson in the uh, series of tutorials I have I believe this is lesson number 12. So I'll see you guys next time. Lesson number 13. Take care, all.